Okay, so to answer this question, we're going to have to first of all find the uh, length of this diagonal here. And then when we've got that, the angle um, GEC is this angle here. So I'm going to call the length uh, X, and I'm going to call the angle we're trying to find Y. And I'm going to draw them out first, so I've got a better idea of what's going on. So I'm going to draw out um, triangle EGH first. Uh, so E, H, and G. And we've got four centimeters there, five centimeters there, and we've got X there. Then I'm going to draw out the other triangle, which is uh, triangle C, E, G. C there, E and G. And we've called this one Y, we've called this one X, and the height of it is six centimeters. Okay, so we're gonna use Pythagoras' theorem, which if you don't know how to use it, there's loads of stuff on the site uh, to work out what X is. Which could be root four squared plus five squared. Um, so uh, four squared is 16, 5 squared is 25, so when you add them together, it's 41, so that's root 41. I'm just going to leave it as root 41. So if x is root 41, we can um, put in x here as root 41. And we're going to use trigonometry. Again, if you don't know how to use trigonometry, um, there's loads of stuff on the site. Um, and so, uh, what is it going to be? Tan y equals the opposite, which is 6 over root 41, so y equals the inverse tan of 6 over root 41. I'm going to do that on my calculator. Inverse tan fraction button 6 over root 41, close brackets, and I get 43.14 when it's rounded. So it's 43.14. Um, and last thing is just to check that that kind of makes sense. Yeah, we're looking, all the values are roughly the same, 4, 5, and 6. So we're looking for it to be about that. 